great to be here this morning with John O'Donoghue of O'Donoghue Racing in the Curra to launch the Gain Champion Collection Series. I was working um, sort of part-time when I was in school and then I did a couple of summers in England. I did a summer here for Mr Ox. And then after I finished my time in UCC, I headed over to David O'Mara in Yorkshire. I was there for two and a bit years and then I moved to Roger for the last number of years before we decided to go on our own. We always wanted to base ourselves in Ireland. We never thought that we'd start here. We always thought we might come here if we had the string big enough, but just the way it worked out, uh, timing and luck. We're looking forward now to this year. We've got a, a good team of three-year-olds that have had a couple of runs at two. And we have a good strong team of, of yearlings that are now two-year-olds uh, to be running through the summer. So we're up on numbers. We're about 35 horses at the minute. Yeah, start to the turf and we'll run a few of them. Delighted to be here with, with John, one of the, the newer trainers here on the Curra. Uh, and uh, we're wishing John all, and Jody all, all the best of luck. We hope to see them with runners in one of the Champion Collection races this year. The Gain Champion Collection Series, it's in its third year now. It's a great collection of stakes races for juvenile horses. Uh, starting on the 1st of May with the listed first flyer stakes in the Curra, over five furlongs. Progressing then to the Group 3 Marble Hill Stakes at the end of May and then on to the Group 2 Railway Stakes which is run on Irish Derby Day and the added bonus here is the winner of the Railway Stakes gets a free entry to the Keeneland Phoenix Stakes in August which is a very good incentive for trainers to aim their better two-year-olds at. When you look at the horses that have been running in it over the, the, the last few years, you've got the very top two year olds. It's a really exciting time of year now, I suppose, when you're looking at some of the two year old maidens and what horses would be competing in any of those game sponsored races. But uh, we're delighted to welcome Gain again to the car and, and look forward to working uh, with the Gain team uh, this year, 2023. We have a couple of types, uh, certainly on paper, and you'd, you'd think that they'd be up to uh, having an entry in those types of races. A very nice filly called Miss Black Jack. Uh, she'll be debuting at the end of this month, and uh, hopefully now she warrants a couple of nice entries in those two-year-old races. Ideally, you want the horse that wins the Gain first flyer on the first of May to go on and run in the Gain Marble Hill, which is obviously on Tattersall's Guineas weekend, one of the best weekends of, of, of racing it, that we have in, in Europe. Uh, and then Gain Railway Stakes, of course, part of, of Dubai Duty Free Irish Derby Day, and also very exciting that it's part of this tote whirlpool. So it will be very much uh, the, the, the coverage of the race will be extend far beyond Europe and Ireland. On behalf of Gain Equine Nutrition, I'd like to wish O'Donoghue Racing and all of the connections of the horses the very best of luck for the series and the season ahead.